hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome um i was halfway through my video and then um i looked up and my camera was not recording <laughs> so i'm recording this again and um what i have here are my two faith journals uh war binders that i just put together i have put this one together probably two weeks ago and then or a week and a half ago and then this one uh, i just put together yesterday i first saw these covers they're filofax dominoes the pink pattern uh, this is personal and this is pocket uh, life with mjb and she had this one i first saw about a year ago and she just got this one set up as a planner and I immediately fell in love with the color and the covers. And so I immediately thought of faith. So that's how I wanted to set them up. I will be doing two separate videos just because I would, you know, want to spend some time going through this in detail. And this, I would do a part two. So let me put this one away. Okay. So here, um, there's a pocket in the same pocket configuration in the back here. I just have a little Ollie clip. Um, from Filofax that sometimes I like to attach things or I like to keep clip my pages together. I wanted to, you know, keep that there. Here on top, um, since I didn't have any acetate, um, I went to Michael's, couldn't find any. So what I did is I made my own. Basically, these are just laminated sheets that I just ran through the laminator. They're clear and then I cut them up. Um, this little vinyl I found at Hobby Lobby while I was in Chicago. I found it here where I live, but when I was in Chicago, I went to Hobby Lobby and then I saw it. And so I picked it up and I placed it on this acetate, but I put this one on top because because of this pattern, it's um, that I know if it touches this and it stays closed for a while, it's going to peel it off. So this is kind of like to protect and then under here, I just have um, some vinyl. I'm sorry. Apologize, you will hear that sound pump because it's been raining here and um, that has been going on all day long. And this is a vellum, kind of like a pretty pink, you know, as a little background. Here is my Stalogy, my commonplace book, and I've shown this before on my channel. Um, I wrote down kind of, you know, a little plan of my sections. And then here I wrote kind of a battle plan when I am going through something, you know, right now everything's good. I can go through each section, but when I'm going through something, uh, I don't normally gravitate to, you know, I'm going to do this and this and read this, you know, everything has to be readily available for me because that's, I know myself that well. Um, and when I'm going through something, it could be something that has triggered from my past or someone said something or I got upset. Um, you know, um, so, you know, everyone's human. So someone can say something or do something without even knowing that they hurt my feelings. Um, and I tend to just clam right away and I, uh, seclude myself. That's kind of how I handle it right away because I know myself that, you know, I don't ever want to lash out on someone so i learned a long time ago just you know stay quiet get along with god and what's my battle plan and i wrote down exactly what i do during that time so i will share that as we go through my planner and um i kind of put down what i like you know i like my scriptures written out i don't like um scripture references are okay but when i'm going through something that's what this is for um, I want to have my scriptures already there and then add scriptures on each divider. So those were just a little, um, thoughts there. So this first, um, divider, and I just used all the Filofax dividers and I used the Dymo, um, uh, I think it was called, yeah, the Dymo little label maker here to make all my labels. And the first one is battle plan. And a lot of this I had in my self-care, so I just took it out of my self-care just because I didn't want to spend too much time. I wanted a binder put together already. So it says, I am a fearless woman. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. That's Joshua 1.9. And then the other side of that. And this is just a piece of acetate that I put Target dollar spot uh, pocket on this side. It says, I'm a child of God, a woman of faith, a warrior of Christ. I am the storm. I love that. And I did the same thing here. 
I put pockets on both sides and I have little prayers here from in touch ministries. And this is just a scripture. Um, the promises of God that I got from, I believe in touch ministries too, but these are the two scriptures that minister to me and I have more. I, you know, whenever I feel led to, I'll change those out. But for now, that's going to stay there. This is um, from In Touch Ministries. And this says, only by knowing the word of God will we develop the mind of Christ. And that is so true. So I wanted to keep that in there. And then this divider, I already have set it up in my self-care. Again, I just pulled it out and I put it in here because I'm not really using my self-care binder. So I just put here Psalm 63, 1, 2. It says, Oh God, you are my God. Early will I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh longs for you in a dry and thirsty land where there is no water. So I have a look for you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory. So I wanted to put that here because it was perfect. I do want to see the power of God work in my life. And I just put God bless this hot mess. And here's my battle plan. So basically, um, I divide it into two different sections. Um, here are my resources. And it's my heart toolbox, my breath prayers, how to stay positive in a crazy world, uh, walking prayers, warfare scriptures, and who I am in Christ. Um, my action plan is basically when I'm going through something, what do I normally do? I seclude myself. I journal to the Lord. Basically, I give it to the Lord. I would have called it that, but when I was typing this up, I just put journal to the Lord and I need to go back and change it. But for now, I left it there. I just wrote it with a pen. So give it to the Lord. And then I want to write out my prayer. So basically, I'm journaling. I'm, I'm, I'm laying everything at the feet of Jesus. You know, my frustrations, whatever it is that I'm going through. Um, it could be worries, you know. Um... Sometimes uh, things happen where, you know, our, the rug is taken off under our feet and we're shaken. So um, what am I going to do? So I'm going to lay it at the feet of Jesus. Then I'm going to write a prayer. After I journal, I say, Lord, you know, help me. Sometimes it's just, Lord, help me. Um, then I want to uh, meditate on a scripture. What scripture is going to help me with the situation currently? Hopefully I'll have enough topical scriptures that I can pull one from there. If not, I'll search Google. Um, and then I either verse map that scripture or I will soap it. So basically I will, or sometimes I'll do both. And soaping just means, you know, um, uh, for if you don't know what that is, it's just a Bible study method. It's scripture, observation, application, and prayer. And I don't always write my prayers. I just speak it. But the main thing I want to get out of there is observing the scripture and applying it. So, um, and then I also wanted to add gratitude because in the end, I, I do want to write out, Lord, thank you for what I'm going through. I pray that you help me to teach me. What is it that I'm supposed to learn in this? Help me to learn it quickly. Because if I don't learn it quickly, that means it's going to continue. So um, this is my heart box. And this is something um, that was inspired by Monique Smith. Um, if you now watch her channel. Basically, I wrote down things that I go through. So I go through anxiety. That's a daily. Um, these days I've been real good. Praise God. But most times I'm going through some form of anxiety. It could be low, medium, or high. That's how I kind of, it's, it's usually with me. Then I go through compulsive. Uh, I am, my family laughs because they say I'm compulsive all the time. I don't think I'm compulsive all the time. But I'll, I'll let them, you know, um, I'll give them credit to this because I am a compulsive. It depends on when. If I'm going through something, I get even more compulsive. Uh, I experience rejection or unforgiveness, anger, procrastination. So when I am going through a, each and every one of these, okay, what can I do? I need something to ground me is what I'm saying. So when I'm going through just anxiety, I know, you know, to, to go through scripture, but I need a plan. I need something written out, something visual. Um, I, 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 this is hard for me when I'm angry, there's, you know, I, I just need to really be calmed down and, um, this is hard 
this is hard. When I'm going through this, it's easier to do it. But when I'm angry to the point of, let's say somebody said something, um, and when I say somebody said something, it's usually my husband. <laughs> He'll say something. Um, it's sometimes it's just not even him, you know, meaning to say something negative. It just came off that way. Or um, something that he said triggered something from my past. And it's not necessarily him. It's something from my past that I haven't dealt with. So that's what I want to work on, you know, going through my past and healing like an onion, you know, one layer at a time. Um, and it's a process and it's hard. Um, so anyway, so I put those there and this is just a five second roll. You know, um, I don't, I haven't read her book and I forget, uh, is it Mel? I forget her name. Um, but if you search five second roll, she'll come up. Um, breath prayers. So as I'm breathing, you know, I'm not speaking, but I'm thinking this. So as I'm breathing in, the Lord is my shepherd. I hold it for four seconds and then I release it. I shall not want. Or I can say, be still and know as I'm breathing in, hold it for four seconds. And as I'm breathing out, I'll say that I am God. So these are just, just a visual of what I can do. This next section here is from Heather Baxter, is how to stay positive in a crazy world. Um, if you're not part of her Bible studies, I will have flash her name on the screen. Again, this is Heather Baxter. And it was just um, a good article. And so I reformatted it and put it in here and it has her name in there. So how to stay positive. And it's just good points, you know, stay positive by feeding your mind, staying positive by avoiding negativity hotspots, stay positive by remaining thankful, stay positive by walking away from, you know, gossip, stay positive by encouraging positive relationships. I know I'm going backwards. Remember God's promises. So that's what this is, a way to really, you know, uh, feed on the word of God and to stay positive and um, but there are times when, you know, our minds are taking us to negative thoughts. Um, I want to feed on the word of God. Walking prayers. So as I'm walking, um, you know, with each footstep, my God reigns or you must increase, I must decrease. So kind of, you know, say those things as I'm walking. Um, this I put together in my self-care and I had to reformat this for my personal but I took these images from Pinterest um, or from the internet and I tied it to the scriptures that are here so I can meditate on these scriptures. Basically, this is Ephesians 5, 11 through 17, which is the armor of God. And then I tied a, you know, picture to that scripture. And I did that for, you know, for many, many scriptures here. And I just created it in Word. So this is 2 Corinthians 3, 5. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not work according to the flesh. And then just a little inspiration there. The devil whispered in, in my ear, you're not strong enough to withstand the storm. Today I whispered in the devil's ear, I am a child of God, a woman of faith, a warrior of Christ. I am the storm. I love that. Anyway, so these are just, you know, encouragement um, and scriptures. So warfare scriptures is basically what I call it. And then here I have some blank sheets and this is doc red paper that I created uh, in Word myself. And this is where I will, this is, you know, the, this, the vision mark there. This is where I, my action plan takes place. So I have my resources first and then my action plan. So this is where I would journal and do everything that I need to do. My second, um, here I have some vellum for my second um, which is Bible study. And I love those who love me and those who seek me diligently will find me. That's Proverbs 8, 17. And this, I just have the two week here and that's where, um, I forget her. I'm so sorry. I forget her name. I will flash it on the screen again. I will link her video below is what I said below before, but she just used these like paper you know, and did Bible study. I'm going to see, I did order some mead personal size paper because it's kind of thin, um, kind of like, you know, um, 
compositional book paper. I love that paper, so I ordered it. I was watching a video from someone who did a video, what, six years ago or five years, six years ago. It's a Bible study video, and she recommended that paper. So I found it on Amazon, and uh, I will link it below in case you're interested. But it's thin enough where uh, uh, it, it'll be here Wednesday. So for now, I'm going to try this. And if this bothers me too much, because I can just write, you know, really dark. And a lot of times that doesn't bother me, but we'll see. We'll see. I just have that there for now. See this, when I turn the page, the third uh, ring gets gets stuck there. So here is scripture writing. Um, so I just, I didn't have enough space to write all my tabs out. So I try to abbreviate. So this is scripture. And this is another tab that I have. Be not afraid of going slowly. Be afraid only of standing still. And difficult roads often lead to beautiful destinations. So here, um, these are contacts to put um, file facts, you know, contacts. But I'm going to use it for scripture. So this is perfect in each block. I will have a scripture there if I need to take more than I will. Um, this is by topic. So if it's fear or anxiety or anger, you know, those things that I was struggling with, I will have them by topic. So I have enough sheets and then I just have some file effects sheets, you know, when I get the me paper, it will replace all this inspiration. Um, this, this is the colorful paper that Philofax uses. And I just started writing how to study a verse or passage of scripture. This is something, I forget where I got it, but I rewrote it out because when I printed it out, it didn't print well. Um, and so I just wrote it. I didn't want to waste, you know, another going upstairs to my printer. Um, so this is where I will have quotes, um, favorite passages, um, anything that's going to inspire me. Sometimes I go to Pinterest and they'll have um, just some um, nuggets of words of wisdom. This is where I will keep it. This is faith journaling. And what I did is I took a portion of the weeklies and I put them in here. And this is something that I've been wanting to do. So I'm not sure if you ever heard of line a day where you just do one line item a day to describe your day. Um, I was kind of thinking for scripture journaling to do kind of the same thing. Um, I haven't really thought about it if to write a little prompt and just because this space is so small, that will force me to really summarize my thoughts. I can do it um, and I like to abbreviate a lot. So I'm going to see if that will work here. But we shall see. Again, I'm going to have some mead paper if this doesn't work. And this are book notes. So I have a book that um, is called The Healing Journey that I've started and I really need to uh, work through it because that's something that it's, it's in my goals and I have not done it. This is just graph paper from, it's like a pad of paper that you get from Walmart and I cut it up. And I just placed it in here. And I just have some more acetate with some post-its and a top loading that it came with in case I need to put anything and a Franklin Covey, um, you know, page lifter. And then back here, I just have a little notebook that's from the Dollar Tree in case I need to write additional notes. I don't want to waste my paper. Um, and then here, I just have a pen. Uh, what is it? Gelocity 0.5 that I got from the Dollar General. No, this one I got at the Dollar Tree. Um, sometimes when you go to the Dollar Tree, they just have these random, um, you know, name brand things. And I should have bought more. It was a pack of two. Um, but I have that one here. And that slides perfectly. And that is it. So that is my faith journal. So um, this has taken the place of my um, Hobonichi cousin that I was using. Um, for now, I have put that one away. I'm not sure um, how I want to continue using that, but sometimes I just want to change. And so this is what I'm going to be using. And yeah, so if as I go along, 
sometimes change you know i again i'm going to change some of the paper in here but sometimes some of my you know dividers may change so that's a good thing about rings that i can easily take things out or add as the need arises but that's all i have and if you have any questions please leave them below and thank you so much for watching please like this video and subscribe so you get notifications of all my future videos thank you so much for watching till next time